All right, now to our continuing coverage of the 115 plus bodies found decomposing inside a funeral home in Penrose. Today, federal and state officials were back out at that scene, setting up a larger perimeter for the investigation. Our Devin Karp joins us there live tonight. Devin, tell us what's happening there today. Yeah, Diane, Rob, if you look behind me, you can see the fence and tarp that investigators have just put up around the side. They say hopefully this, along with some of the tents and tarps around the entrance and exits, will make transporting any bodies much more discreet. I spoke with members of the community who say they never expected Penrose to get this much attention, and some just wish things would go back to normal. It's not a bad area. It really is. George Harris moved to Penrose at the beginning of the year looking for a quiet place to live with his family. And it is kind of peaceful here. The neighbors, neighbors are peaceful, and, and then I like it here. He's been following the investigation at the Return to Nature funeral home since last week. Kind of blows me away a little bit. It's very important, but when you're dealing with death, it's not just they've moved on. I mean, these people need to know where their, where their family is. Brooke Stewart has lived near here for the last 13 years. Now, here in this small town, um, we all gather together. We all help each other. She says she was appalled when the sheriff's office announced that more than 115 bodies were found decomposing at the funeral home and that it's strange seeing agencies like the FBI and Air National Guard working in her town. I believe that they will do right by the families. If not, I think that the families will for sure get some some kind of closure in this. Brooke wants answers for the families of those lost loved ones and doesn't mind the commotion the investigation is causing. And that's what I'm really hoping is that this gets out, this gets around, this 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 doesn't become a story that gets washed under. While George is ready for things to get back to normal. You certainly have to have them people uh, that are laying there in them coffins rest rest at peace and stuff and not just sit there lingering with uh, the families not knowing where their loved ones are. Investigators have confirmed that they're going to be set up here for the months it's going to take to potentially identify all of the bodies involved. This is an ongoing case and we'll keep you updated with new information as we learn it. But for now, tonight, live in Penrose, I'm Devin Carp, News 5. Devin, thank you. Let's take